Capital is Australia's largest aluminium extruder. We've got five manufacturing sites, uh, six distribution centres all around Australia. Bremer Park, where we are today, is, is the most automated and the most modern plant in Australia. Probably been in place now eight years. But still, even though there's a lot of automation, there's still a lot of manual handling. So we have to focus on how to minimise risk and how to minimise manual handling tasks. The worker is the expert, so um, they've got the ideas and we know the benefits from having the workers come up with the um, solutions is that they have a lot more engagement with the control. you really got to empower your employees to take ownership with doing their risk assessments and looking at what the hazards are in their work area. They're the ones that know best and what they do and, and how often they do it. If you look at the history of injuries in the plant, manual handling would be 80% of the injuries. Back strains, repetitive strains, all those type of things. So reducing the injuries and reducing the risk has been a high priority. We all know that um, you know, safety is an, ex is, is an expensive business. There's the workers' comp costs that are in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. And not only that, there's costs of replacing that worker. At the moment in Queensland, over 60% of serious workers' comp claims are actually related to sprains and strain injuries. How many times do I wrap plastic around the end of a pack? How many times would I reach over and pick up some metal and pull it out of a, a skip and place it somewhere else? Once they started to understand a uh, number of times they were doing those, they started to realise that, hey, there's, there's some risks involved here. And that has made an enormous amount of difference to involve them, to give them the, the, the opportunity to have the solutions and the answers and also to get their, the ownership for them so that they are the ones that drive the improvements and, and own the improvements. Put it to your workers and give them the opportunity to voice what they could see as a better improvement. You go and identify the risks on site. You go and score them. Are there high risks? Are there low risks? Are there repetitive issues? They're minor but they can cause a very serious injury. And then work together with each work area to find solutions. When I first started here, uh, we had the worst safety record in the department, in the dye shop. Fingers were getting squashed. Uh, we were sending guys off to the hospital regularly. The dye handling issue has been uh, an issue that they've been trying to work a solution for for some time. And until we got to understand more about how often those staff were handling those dyes and lifting them particularly, and those dyes weigh you know, anywhere up to 15, 18 kilos. So in itself, when you look at that, it's a serious safety issue. We actually made a video of it. And after making the video, we thought, gosh, you know, we never actually saw this because uh, you can be right there and you can't see it happening. And then we worked out all the twists and pulls and lifts and carries and pushes and pulls. And uh, over a year, it's like a million. If you can just empower your people to come up with some solutions, you'll be very surprised that some of the gains that you can make. came up with the control ideas. What we thought of, it was all very well just putting the rack down on the hydraulic table that goes up and down, but you don't want the guy to have to walk around it and stretch, because then we're looking at stretching and, and exerting ourselves and hurting ourselves. So we thought you sit at your dining room table and you spin the table, you get your tomato sauce and your, everything else. So we said, stick a Lazy Susie on. It's easy, because you just lift the table to whatever height you need to, roll it off, and then uh, go to the next height. The other change is we've got our electric lift trolleys because what we would do is we'd carry our die plate which weighs between let's say 10 and maybe 20 kgs. We'd carry it physically out to the machine shop side of the die shop and uh, we find with these electrical trolleys, lifts, we just put it on and you push the up button and it goes up, push the down button and it goes down and it works so much safer and it works really well. Everyone um, culturally has started to take more ownership for safety uh, working at Capital. That is a real achievement to see within a company because that just shows the true leadership and culture of the company. We have a meeting every day at the start of the shift and we just bring up any concerns or any improvements and the guys get a chance to speak up and put their input into it. And we got together and all brainstormed and, and came up with it. 
and it was good. Rather than getting told what to do, we come up with our own ideas and our own solutions. All of the people here have a, uh, a, are very highly motivated and they're motivated because they can make a difference on the shop floor. Safety is part of the, the larger picture, the, the wider strategy for business. To reduce your claims means you become more efficient, your housekeeping is better, your cost is lower because your claims cost is lower. Capital look at safety as a fact it's part of their business, it's part of how they're just running their organisation and doing business. So the fact that they're not seeing it as a separate exercise or an add-on is, is critical and I think that's what's the really special difference here. Hey, if you can find anything that can take away your handling, manual handling, your bending, lifting, uh, strains, that's the way to go.